Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this natural wicker stitch, which you can see here in front of you. Now this is a stitch with a lot of flexibility in it. It's worked uh, using some front post double crochet stitches, uh, which gives it a lot of spring to it. And actually also has this cool and fun texture. Uh, it is more to the one side, but I think both sides look great uh, in this pattern. So this is the natural wicker stitch today. For the tutorial, I'm going to be using a little bit of Cotton Aran yarn by Paintbox Yarns, as well as a 5mm crochet hook. And uh, links to both of these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description of the video, you'll find a link to the free written tutorial, which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. This channel is updated uh, weekly with free crochet patterns and every Sunday morning with a new stitch tutorial. Uh, I also invite you to share with me down in the comments how you would use this stitch in a project and what you think. Now our stitch today is worked in rows so you're going to start by working a slip knot and then by making a foundation chain and your foundation chain uh, will need to be a multiple of four stitches. So today I'm going to go ahead and chain 24 stitches. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin by working a chain 2 V-stitch into the fourth chain from your hook. To work the chain 2 V-stitch, you're going to count in first to your fourth chain, 1, 2, 3, 4, into that fourth chain, work one double crochet, followed by a chain 2, and double crochet all into that same stitch. You're then going to skip the next three chains and into your next stitch work another chain two V stitch. So double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. Repeat that all the way across to your final stitch. So as you come across I'm here at my final stitch, skip three, you work your final V stitch into that last stitch, followed by a double crochet stitch into that same stitch. That brings you to the end of your row one. You can then chain two and turn your work. For row two, you're going to skip that first stitch and then work a front post double crochet around the next stitch. So to work your front post double crochet, yarn over, bring your hook in front of your work and insert it around the post working from front through to back out through the front again. Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two more. You're then going to work a chain 3 V-stitch, a V-stitch with 3 chains in the center of it, uh, in the next chain 2 space. So into the center of your chain 2 V-stitch, work a chain 3 V-stitch. So double crochet, chain 3, and double crochet into the same space. You're then going to work a front post double crochet stitch around the post of the next stitch. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. So front post double crochet around the post of the next double crochet stitch. Into the next chain 2 space work a double crochet, chain 3, and double crochet. 
followed by a front post double crochet around the post of the next double crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way across to the end where you will finish off with a double crochet in the last chain two space. So I've now come all the way across. I finished with my chain three V stitch followed by my front post double crochet. There's one little starting chain two space here uh, left and you're simply going to work your double crochet stitch into that chain two space. You're then going to chain two and turn your work. For row three, we're going to work one chain two V stitch into each chain three space all the way across. So you have your chain two here. We're going to into the next chain three space, simply work a chain two V stitch. So double crochet, chain two, and double crochet all into the same space. You're going to do that all the way across. So if you felt like it was kind of flaring out a little bit, uh, this is going to bring those stitches back in together. So simply work V stitches all the way across. I'm just going to keep working here because it goes pretty quickly at this point. Final chain three space here. And you should be left with one little uh, chain two space there. So you have your uh, the rest of that V stitch, your front post stitch, and then a chain two, and you're just working a double crochet into that space. You can then chain two and turn your work. That brings you to the end of row three, and as far as the repeat is concerned, that's all there is to it. So for the rest of the pattern, you're going to repeat your rows two and rows three. So your row two began with that front post double crochet, followed by the chain three V stitch into your chain two spaces, and then the front post double crochet and then repeat that all the way across. So that was your row two, then your row three, which we just worked with the chain two V stitches in each all the way across. So continue to repeat those for as long as you would like, fasten off, weave in your ends, and that's all there is to working this wicker stitch. So thank you so much for joining me again. I invite you to subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.